What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Frank Martin vs. Romero Duno, and this was a 10-rounder in the lightweight division, and this fight was Saturday, January 1st, from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida, and this fight was broadcasted on Fox, and in this fight, Frank Martin was able to get a destructive fourth-round knockout victory over Romero Duno, and this was a brutal knockout starting out 2022 I mean, this was a tremendous knockout for Frank Martin. Um, already um, a great knockout for this year. I mean, it's really only a couple of fights in, but it was a tremendous knockout. So leading up to the stoppage, I had a 30-27 to 27 in favor of Frank Martin. I thought he won every single round leading up to the knockout. And um, just to break down the first three rounds, Frank Martin was just boxing beautifully off the outside. He was also stepping in, landing counters, and just brutally and dominantly outboxing Romero Duno. He was just hurting him, backing him up. Duno's face was already swelling up in red in the first three. I mean, he was just dominating him. Um, just back and forth. He was just moving around the ring, outboxing him, countering him uh, with his left hand, coming forward a bit as well. I mean, that was a great performance by Frank Martin, but those first three rounds were just like that, just boxing, countering off the outside, coming forward a bit as well. But then in the fourth round, Frank Martin actually was hit with a nice overhand right by Romero Duno in the ropes, and I was thinking, wow, maybe Duno could uh, overturn this and just um, land some nice shots of his own, but no, right after... Duno landed the overhand right. Um, minutes later, he got hit with a brutal counter left hand that put him down. It was a brutal shot, and um, I'm surprised Duno got up from it. It was a perfectly placed counter left. And just I uh, forgot to mention that right after that shot that Duno landed that I mentioned before, um, Duno did, I mean, there was a slip that the commentators, commentators were talking about that it could have been a knockdown, but, I mean, I thought it was a slip. Duno sort of slipped in while going on the inside, and Frank Martin threw some shots. I don't know if they landed. But, yeah, more into that first knockdown, Frank Martin landed a beautiful left counter um, on the chin of Romero Duno, that left hand, um, put him down. He got back up, but then immediately Frank Martin went in for the kill and then backed up Duno on the ropes, landed another brutal counter left hand, and Duno sort of, ducked his hands down, then went back up and slipped down to the canvas. His equilibrium was all gone. His legs were gone. They were like spaghetti noodles. I mean, he was just flopping around. I mean, it was a sad knockdown to look at, but it was a brutal knockdown nonetheless. And then the referee waved it off after taking a further look at Duno after he got back up. So, yeah, what is next for Frank Martin after this destructive knockout win? A great win, probably the best win of his career thus far. I would love to see him fight. Maybe an Emmanuel Tago. I know his record's amazing, but I think Frank Martin would beat him. Maybe even Jose Real Valenzuela. That'd be a great fight between two PBC prospects. Um, I would just like to see him in a very tough, great fight because he proved himself in 2021, now proving himself in the beginning of 2022. But for Romero Duno, losing for the third time in his career, second knockout loss, um... He'll probably go back to the Philippines, fight an unknown opponent before, like, PBC, zone, etc. calls him up for a fight against a top-rated um, prospect or a contender or someone like that. Um, he could get another opportunity like that, but I'm not sure if it's a winnable fight, just like this one. So, overall, um, Frank Martin destructively knocks out uh, Romero Duno in the fourth round with a brutal left hand. Um, counter that put him down. Referee waved it off. Frank Martin getting his 15th victory, 11th by knockout, and staying undefeated. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.